here. I made the trek across the um, field, and I just, I just heard some swans taking off. Holy macro, they loud. <sighs> okay, so I'm gonna show you my makeshift blind. I put, I put together, see how she works. I think I'm gonna stay on this end of the lake. So my game plan today is to set up the blind here and do do traditional duck hunting. See these pricker bushes are just a pain in the ass. Okay. So I'm going to do traditional duck hunting uh, today in the uh, setting up a blind, calling in the ducks. Oh, this is just... Okay. Uh, okay. So I picked this spot because... Oh, man. I don't even know. It's got some natural logs and stuff to set things on, including my butt. We'll see how this works. Not the easiest track down. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see how deep it is. Decoys are right back there. The butt down vibrator one is right there. I got my setup. So let's get some ducks coming. Yo, 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 you know what it is? Whoa, whoa, it's the duck life. So, I uh, went duck hunting and got some ducks. So, I'm pretty sure this would probably been a good idea to figure out what I shot. But first of all, I want to, um, that one's obvious. Uh, first, all, I want to give a shout out to my boys at Tips Down, um, and uh, had had a great time yesterday. Uh, these were the keepers. Uh, there was um, a slew of other types of ducks uh, that were shit ducks. That did that means they don't taste very good. Uh, but I'm pretty sure this is a pintail, and this is something that I have to get better at. And I'm going to say, I'm going to go out on a limb and say it is because of the long neck. So they almost look like geese when they're flying, like small geese because of that long neck. And this is the classic, what most people think of as a duck. So these are two female mallards. Beautiful. You know, one thing I've noticed with um, ducks and pheasants is they are very, very pretty animals. So these were the keepers out of the group. And uh, basically all I'm going to do 
is I don't have my GoPro set up, so I unfortunately won't uh, show this because it's going to be hard having a camera while I'm cutting into these things. I'm going to use my Haviland knife. It's basically just a razor blade. Okay. And I'm just going to breast them. Breast them and probably marinate them and um, probably cook them up like, you know, just like chicken breasts, uh, duck breasts. Um, I'm probably not going to pluck them. That's such a pain in the butt. So I'm not going to pluck them and have a whole, like, duck spread. Um, but, yeah, anyways, had a lot of fun. Learned a lot. Learned a lot. These guys were... Uh, great, great guys, great guys, uh, from Ferndale tips down, baby. Anyway, there's my ducks. I'll show you the, f uh, final product after I cut them up. All right. On this pintail, I just discovered something. So this m might be my new technique. And, uh, because, you know, I don't like to look up things myself. I like to just, um, trial and error so what i did is i made a little cut down here and just ripped it up with my hands so i want to continue ripping up with my hands oh by the way I had a little cut but a little duct tape on that baby just fixed it right up um <clears throat> i'm just going to rip it up and breast it and uh, that the breast will be perfect third time to charm all right just had to share that okay so left left a lot of feather mess Okay, that's what you get for uh, being lazy and not plucking the feathers off. But um, there's my six breaths, and one thing, one thing I've uh, an early discuss, uh, early discovery. The first four are mallard. The last two we've got some quite a bit of feathers on this one. The last two are pintail. I don't know about the taste, but if you notice the first three, I didn't do anything different to get the breasts off. But the first four with the mallard uh, seem to be what you would see in a store for like chicken breast, right? And this one is a little, was a little bit more rough to get off. So, so far, I can see why the typical, when someone says, I'm going duck hunting, most people would think of mallard. And I can see why for multiple reasons, and we'll see about the taste. So, that's my conclusion of doing my field dressing in my garage see ya all right here we go i cut up all the duck uh, i'm going to use this honey sriracha marinade mix i'm going to put that with some um, apple cinnamon and some olive oil and water and i'm going to vacuum seal it what the vacuum seal does is um i could either marinate it in a bag overnight or the vacuum seal for about an hour or two but it's 125 the see how game is coming on i'm going to marinate for an hour uh at least and half time come up and throw it in the crock pot and with potatoes and some sort of broth and call it good so that's what i'm doing for my first uh duck meat so we'll see how it goes